All right, I'm ready when you are. Dude, your legs are fine. No, they fing hurt. I know they hurt, but they're they're straight. Dude, I'm telling you, no. like, I know it hurts, but it's fine. Oh, it hurts really bad. I know, but if it was broke, you would know. Oh sh it's gash. It's gash. You're fine, it's gash though. Put your put your pants back down. It's not bleeding, it's just gash. That's pretty rough, man. You can see your tendon moves. You're fine, man. Turns out he wasn't fine. Thousands of people get hit by cars every day, but it takes a special kind of idiot to hit himself with one. That's Gentry. And like most children half his age, he loves RC cars. The minute you're old enough to drive a real car, you should be donating all that crap to Toys for Tots. RC cars were invented so fathers could buy back the love of their sons after a messy divorce. As long as you've got a massive stockpile of D batteries and no shag carpet, it can be minutes of fun. It's basically Mario Kart for dorks who want to stand outside while they get no exercise. And that controller also seals up every cooch within a half mile range. Why do they all have to look like sports cars? You're telling me there are no kids out there who just want to buy a reliable RC Toyota Camry that will get their action figures from point A to point B? But who am I to tell anyone to stop being childish? Gentry's fine. He's fine. He's fine. That's why I flew him to Hollywood, where every guy driving an exotic car is compensating for his one-tenth scale weenie in this week's Web Redemption. my life one one hundredth of a mile at a time. Why'd you bring me here, Daniel? I have one more job. I can't help you. You know I'm done racing toys. You don't turn your back on family. We're not family. That's exactly what family would say, brother. Tell me what happened that day. Me and my friends were out testing my speed car. I hit the gas at the wrong point, and the car just spun right around, and before I knew it, I was upside down and on my ass and knocked out. Ooh. You all right? Did you ever think of steering the car away from you? They come at you quite fast. Basically, it's like dodging bullets at this point. It would have been great if it would have flipped you all the way back to your feet. Oh. I did make an awesome Scorpion, though. How fast was that car going when it hit you? Uh, 94. And that's legal to race something around like that? Yeah. First of all, your friend was dead wrong. You were not fine. Dude, your legs are fine. No, they fucking are. Yeah, I was not fine. I got the indent on my leg. That's never gonna look good. No. Over here, a part went into my leg that was a puncture wound, and I got sewn up and stapled. Did he ever apologize? Hey, I'm sorry, I misdiagnosed you. No. Is he a paramedic? No. Then shut up. Are you still friends with him to this day? Yeah, he's here with me. You brought him to my garage. You kept telling Gentry he was fine. I thought he was fine. You wanted him fine. to die, didn't you, you sack of shit. No, I didn't. How long were you off your feet? I missed my first full week of work at my new job. And what did they say when you said, I, the reason I have to take off is because I ran an RC car into my leg? They laughed. They said, we hired the right guy. <laughs> did you post a video? Yeah. Were you happy when people started uh, watching it? People on YouTube are the meanest people on the planet. Sure. <laughs> Sexist, racist, bunch of horrible people on YouTube. <sighs> I love them. I love them all, <laughs> like they're my own. What happens if your car gets out of range? It stops. How far can they go before they get out of range? 1,100 to 1,200 feet. I have no idea how far that is. Farther than you can see. That's not true. I see the moon at night. Farther than you can see something this big. You win that round. <laughs> Do you know what the world record speed is for an RC car? Uh, yeah, it's 202. Are you trying to beat that? No. That guy has thousands upon thousands of dollars. And zero girlfriends. <laughs> Probably. How fast did your first RC car go, and how slow did your virginity go after that? Oh, 
That's not nice. Did you get into RC cars for all the pussy? Have you ever met a girl that plays with RC cars? What does your girlfriend, I'm sorry, your mom think about the fact that you're still playing with RC cars? Do girls like it that you play with RC cars? It's better than doing drugs, I guess. Not for girls. Girls love drugs. So, one last ride. You in? I told you I'm out. Maybe this will change your mind. What's this? They took your girlfriend. Look at that body. You're a lucky man. Here's the deal. There's a huge battery shipment going to Radio Shack, and we're gonna hijack that truck. Sounds dangerous. With my RC car and your thumbs and your mom's permission, the only thing that can stop us is our car's 15-minute battery life. Fine, but this is it. I almost died last time. Welcome back. Let's get to work. But first, family barbecue. It's 8 a.m., and stop saying we're family. When you're here, you're family. Let's go for a little ride. We should be good for a 10-mile range. If everything goes exactly as planned as these things always do, that truck should be arriving any second. Oh, sh We got cops, cops, cops! Family. You're fine. You're on fire, I know, but you're fine. I lost my family. If you like that redemption good news, there will be nine sequels. <laughs>